Right, so we are here today. My legs are very, very stiff. Day after London Marathon, hair still looks stupid. And we're gonna go for a fitting. Here, King Headquarters UK, and for golf club. Let's get in there and have a look at what's going on. Right, so that is the fitting done. Now it's time for a tour around the Ping factory. Look at this. Definitely looking forward to this. Right, let's see what is inside. Two foundries. Yeah, yeah, one in China, yeah. one in Vietnam. So by the time it gets here, it's been sort of about 60 different operations already. The shafts come in from places like Thailand and India, the trips, most of Mexico, okay. and then everything has got to arrive here at the same time. Yeah, to so then build it. Lines to keep going, and the logistics of that is quite complicated. So it soon breaks down. We only built the wall, so we haven't got any room to stop. So it's all built. We have about, I think, about three weeks stock of head shafts. So we can keep going for three weeks, even if there's a no breakdown in the transport. Yeah. You see at the top where it says loft good, just slight, so slightly flatter. And now the now the lie will be good, and the loft will the loft be good as well. It's yeah, brilliant. That set is now finished. That's fantastic. Like 
change the classic measure out and must say weight, they will all be different. But when you actually swing them, it's important that they actually all feel the same way, but all the swing weight. We put weights in the back of the club and then 20 different ones in between them. 20 in between then? 20, so 20 odd different weights. Yeah. So we calculate what number weight we put in each club. Yeah. To make sure that the whole set swing weight swing works. Weight so weights are different now. This this is just sitting in the back of the club and you can yeah. actually see it. On the bottom of the club, fishing put the way underneath out of the way. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit of glue onto the weight. Into the head. Just into the groove at the bottom of the club. And, and once you put that in, the actual weight of the weight will sink it down underneath the lip of the group. So we just make sure that's as near as far as we can. So they come up here then, finally checked, cleaned, ready to wear the customer. That's the stuff that we see, isn't it? With the, with the sleeves on and the wrapping around the yeah. top. Yeah. That bloody wrapping you can't get off. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't get off. <laughs> So this is the kit area, filling up those barrows, ready to keep those lines going and actually you have to go quite quickly here mm. to actually keep those lines going once they're full This is the little bit that you can't see from up there, it's where we do the, what they call here, tour work cell. So over here you've got the standard pin clubs. What we've designed, and in terms of pin clubs, they're the best you can buy because we've designed them to be that way. But on here, if somebody wants what we call non-standard clubs, i.e. they want to use another manufacturer's no shaft, so we'll build it if they want another manufacturer's shaft. Mm, that's so what we got on the bench here then. So we have What's this? What we got? So, that's oh, a that, this is actually one of our shafts. It's a very, very old. Old rapture shaft. Is that a rapture head as well? Uh, it is. So, so is that a new rapture, rapture head that rapture someone's ordered? Too. So it's the second version of mm. the rapture. Which was a main, there was a, obviously lately there's been a rapture fairway wood which is completely different mm. than these. But this was about 10, 12 years ago. And someone's ordering that new? Uh, well, this is a oh, repair, is it? So somebody, it looks no, like, yeah, there we go. No, can't. Somebody's actually been playing with it virtually since it was brought out. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, say, it's yeah. certainly been played with quite a bit. But we we obviously we try to look after people for as long as we can. Yeah. So if they purchased pink clubs ten years ago, if we can keep the production of, of the shafts and the grips, etc., and even the heads to some degree, we'll do it for yeah. as long as we can. So if we go here, you'll see on this wall, every iron, wood, driver, model that Ping has ever produced. So starting from the original cast and irons at the top left, you can see the progression of the irons, the weights in the back, and as you come down, you'll see this weight start to disappear until here, the latest clubs, the weight's gone completely underneath. Big change those weights, wasn't it, when they first came into the heads? Yes. Yeah, and then you so can see, as you they see through, where it goes, isn't it? Yeah. The engineers have got to know that if we took the weight underneath out of the way, two good things happen. We can alter the weight and the centre of gravity easier. And because these, if you play golf a lot, they could pop out <laughs> they because do. they flex. 
They make new ones. Yeah. 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 So, you know, if you play golf a lot, yeah. some of them could pop out. That, that's not a problem as such, it, but, but they have to come back here for the correct weight to go back in. These brilliant ones. Mm. And it, obviously you can see the timeline as well of these clubs. Eye size. Yeah. Yeah. Missing one. <laughs> so we're actually missing one there, yeah. Unfortunately that we ever bring out. And he actually played that in three tournaments. But Peter Alice killed that off. Because uh, when Miguel was playing with it, he described it as a fag packet. A fag packet. And that was the end of that one. <laughs> I remember that uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was an experiment that wasn't entirely was a small successful. Small version, wasn't it? Top yeah, 15, wasn't it? Or Top 15. But then you come to something like this. Yeah, crazy. Which is one of the most That's successful putters successful, we've ever brought out. Uh, and in various different models, it uh, it brought ping back into the putter market. One with, we'll give one to the player, keep one, put it in the putter vault in Phoenix, where you see Bobber there. There's about 3,000 putters in there now. And apparently you need sunglasses when you walk in. So you've got Westwood on the pitch, he's just over there with his 40 odd gold putters that he has in the vault. If you win a major, like Bubba has obviously won two, you get a solid gold putter made. And the last one we did for Bubba, because gold was off the top of how much gold costs, it cost about $125,000. <laughs> Obviously you have the visual thing of the pink with Bubba. They're left-handed. But the grips on those. You just grip the club and just line the grip up. <laughs> so, obviously, that's how it should be. That's the grip. <laughs> So they are 10 degrees open and that's how he plays because he's so powerful unless he has them 10 degrees open he can't straighten the face up. Wow. So obviously as he addresses the ball he, he's got it in a position where he knows once he comes back that the face is going to be straight. But to do that he has to have the grip on where it's 10 degrees open. And yeah. that wraps, obviously, the gold grip is actually a large men's grip anyway. It's not an orange. And then obviously it's then built up from there. Yeah, why didn't you have an orange one? Again, just to probably feel. Oh, so, whereas Bubba is very outlandish in his custom fitting, yeah, this is Lee pretty. is pretty much standard. So, yeah, that was an old shaft that, right. to, again, James Holland produced with the JZ. So, again, in ping equipment, if you see stuff that's got J in it, or K in it, or A in it, it denotes which of the solides was behind it. So it's J, it's John, K, it's Carsten, A, it's Alan. Well, that was fascinating. Um, all those bits inside the factory, uh, all the different eras of ping, obviously you know all about their history of the gold putters and the vault and everything, but just how much care and attention they take into putting into their clubs is phenomenal. They're a great company, so check them out. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't done, hit the subscribe button because not only does it get you all of our content now, it enters you into a prize draw with these guys. Yes, check that video out here and there'll be another one here and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.